I've got them pinned through the gills on either side here and I get my finger right through where I've speared him at the back to keep a hold of him and you can eat these things straight out of the river like that. Mm. That is like the freshest Alaskan salmon you can possibly have. I've always liked sushi, and in the local Iyak communities, the annual fish runs were the primary food source for the entire year. Fish are packed full of protein, and the scales are small on a salmon, so you can eat the skin as well, as it contains high levels of fat. Just what my body needs to keep moving. It's been two days now since I had a square meal, and I'm gonna take full advantage of this feast. I might be out of the forest, but I know that I'm still surrounded by bears. They come down here to fish. Hey, look at this, look. This is why you've gotta be so careful around here. Look, you can see where, where a bear has obviously come down and plonked his fat backside down here and started to feast on this salmon. But amazing, you actually see, look, the imprint of where he's been. And actually you can see the bit that is eaten is all the belly fat and the eggs and the guts. That's the most fat and protein rich and then it just leaves the rest of it. But this is why you've got to be so careful out here. It's early evening and I've got to find a place to rest. Caves are ready-made shelters, but they're often already occupied by wildlife, including bears. This one is so shallow that I know it's safe, and it's a perfect place to stop. The high walls mean that nothing could sneak up on me from behind. I need all the rest I can get now as I have no idea what lies ahead. Now I'm on the coast, there's an abundance of food, especially on the beach at low tide. This rock is just covered in these mussels and it's a great source of food. I'm gonna get a load of this and then cook it up later and this is actually you know part of the staple diet of a lot of local Alaskan tribes. Shellfish should always be cooked properly first so I need fire. Old man's beard grows on the branches of trees and it burns easily but I need to find wood as well. Yeah this is sort of dead wood uh, that I want. Uh, the wood that's dead on the ground is often covered in moss is really damp but this is great because it's off the ground and it's dry and it should crack and a good way of telling if wood's good for burning if you hear that crack sort of sounds like the crackle uh, when it's actually burning on fire and that's a good sign that's good good wood for burning with no pan to cook them in i've surrounded the mussels with two layers of seaweed and this effectively like steams them and this should take about 10 minutes to cook when you're collecting them tap the mussels if they don't close they're already dead so leave them. But once cooked, they should be open. Wow, those really are good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now I'm on the coast, it's worth trying to signal any passing boats. I've got such good visibility all the way uh, out to sea here, and it's definitely worth, while I am here, getting a signal fire going and all I'm doing is building this back up again. And then I'm gonna put on top of it a load of evergreen branches and these will smoke. And if anyone's passing, they might well see this. It's vital to create white smoke to contrast with the dark background of the trees behind me. 